most ghettoest Miami story ever. Right. Hi, we finna tell y'all the most ghettoest Miami story ever. Crazy, crazy. Ever is crazy and ghetto, okay? Y'all, so, child, we had planned a Miami trip, like a couple's Miami trip. It was me and We never and planned that trip? Well, no, we didn't plan it. <laughs> it was a last That's minute couple's crazy. trip. Crazy. Yes, y'all. So, first of all, it was me, Davey, and my sister, her husband. My sister had just got her, yes, it was four of us, just had got her a new car or whatever, and she had just had her baby. But I, well, I want to say like a month prior, she had her baby or, or two months prior. I don't know. This was way back. Crazy Child, we play, I don't know. What was it like? Summer or spring? I don't, even I don't know. know what, what, what Miami, it was. At no, the time, I think it was, it was summer. It must have was spring break or something. I don't, I don't know. know. But Chai, we was going out there because it, it was one of them. It was either spring break or summer. I don't know. But anyway, it's me. But we didn't go for nothing. We just went to win. Yeah. And I think it because it was that too. We didn't oh, wait, or was nothing. it or was it one of our anniversaries? I don't know if it was one of our anniversaries or I don't know I don't know why we went, okay? No. But anyways, y'all. We didn't plan nothing. It was just First of all, late. we left at we what time we left? We left at like eight, eight or, eight or nine o'clock. Between eight to ten o'clock, I think. Yeah, somewhere in between there, y'all child. So we just paid the left. Got in the car, left. Child, all we know is mom was babysitting my sister, baby, and we was we was gonna go, we was gonna enjoy ourselves. We was gonna have a great time, child, honey. So the first person drove was my sister. She drove. I think she drove all she the way. Drove, no, she didn't. My sister drove. She started driving. I think she drove. Now it only take us like five hours to get from miami okay so we was like we're gonna drive you like it was a last minute trip you feel me like i said i don't know if it was summer or spring break i don't know uh anniversary i don't know what we went down there for well, but child we, we baby we got down there thinking oh we ain't even booked no hotel we didn't even book a hotel man. or nothing we just was like we finna go yeah. we finna go and enjoy ourselves baby we just gonna do we, everything we I'm left our head. eight to ten yeah got to miami about between. No, we, we got to tell them how we how, how we got there and everything. So we might have got a car whatever. She was driving. I want to say she drove for about two or three hours. And then everybody was like, oh, we're going to take turns driving. I'm already off real told everybody I wasn't driving. Okay, because baby, I'm not going to drive while it's nighttime. I am a very nervous driver. I was not going to drive. Period. Like, and it was like, it's your turn to drive. Your turn. I'm like, no, I'm not driving. 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 So I think Davey he was the next driver and y'all my dog mommy drove the whole way mommy drove the whole way there no she on the way back we switched i don't know he said my sister drove the whole way there. I'm sure I'm like, she drove the whole way. okay so anyways i don't know if he, i think he drove some too because we were stopping at gas stations uh -huh. y'all first of all it take like 200 dollars in gas to get there so if y'all plan on driving baby 200 dollars that much Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. For five hours, it took us like two hours, two hundred dollars worth no, of gas. No, it wasn't. You How crazy? much was it? Not no two hundred. Not How a much? car. How much, baby? You, I don't know, but we're no two hundred. I thought it was two hundred dollars. We all gave fifty dollars for gas. Okay. So, anyways, how much was it? Not no two hundred. All I know is we put in hella gas. So how much gas? Probably like one eighty. I don't know. You over exaggerated. <laughs> It did not take that much to get there. Yeah, all the way to Miami. Yes, it took it took so much gas. It was like we going, we all splitting the gas, and we split the much, gas. Y'all, he was asleep, so he don't know nothing. Okay, he was asleep. We stopped to like hella gas stations first of all. Um, but like I said, it was between eight and ten o'clock that we left, y'all. Um, I saw how much gas we put in since it wasn't that much. <laughs> it wasn't that much. So, anyways. Um, I, my sister was driving. I was in the passenger seat, and then her husband was behind her, and then they was behind me. But y'all, I he said my sister drove the whole way, but I'm pretty sure he I don't know, y'all. It's been some years, literally. So, um, anyways, we driving to Miami. It's like everybody's tired. And everybody did not want to drive, so my sister she was literally driving, 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 driving. They said she drove the whole way there. But anyways, that's what we just gonna say. She drove the whole way there. So, anyways, we got there. Once we got closer. Like, I want to say, like, the last hour that we knew, like, the GPS was, like, one hour, 59 minutes or something like that. We Five started looking for hotels. Man. Started looking for rooms up. Y'all know 
nine times out of ten, the check in time about four. Yes, yeah, so check in time yeah. four yeah. p.m. Yeah, like most Man, hotels. We get hotels. it to like four a.m. You know, we check, got there four in the morning. Yeah, four in the check morning. Check out be like nine ten a.m. So we only got like four or five hours of sleep. Man, you yeah. Know, then people talking so, about, about three hundred dollars. Who about to pay three hundred to go take a nap? Why we not even go to sleep? We taking a nap. Like we got there like between Man. three and four, between three and five o'clock in the morning. We got there. Let's just say that between three and five o'clock in the morning. So we started looking for hotels. These people crazy. These yeah. people was booked. These people was booked. These people was booked. Yeah, so I finally found. This is why I know it was like spring break or summer, something like that, because everything was booked up and it was so many people. But listen, y'all, this is so ghetto. So. Everybody booking hotels, everybody getting aggravated. Like, I, me, I was this is the time where I wasn't booking anything. You feel me? I wasn't really like booking nothing or like into stuff like that, like booking nothing. Okay, because if your girl don't be booking nothing at that time, but now I book up everything. So, um, there was like, then you just sitting there, help look. So, child, I got on my phone and I started looking up. So, child, I found us a hotel. I sure did. We paid I think like, like a hundred and something. No, it wasn't. It was like two hundred and some dollars. I know it was so, a lot cheaper listen, than the other one. Yeah, all the other ones because it was like spring break or something. I don't know. The hotels was super expensive and most of them was booked up. Like, and we was going to like the um, we went to Miami. Um, the we wanted was trying to get a hotel close to the beach, like right off the beach. What is it? right off yeah. the strip? Yeah, that's the hotels that we was trying to get. So like majority of them like. 99% of them hotels was a boot. So we, we like, oh my goodness. We to get a hotel by the beach. Yeah. The girl got a hotel. Hey, let me finish it. So, y'all, I started, even though it was like, you know, the hotels, you know, beachside or whatever, you know, the, you get the view of the ocean waking up. Okay, those, okay, very expensive. Most of them was booked up. So, um, y'all know it's still some hotels on the other side, like right here, like that's not on the beach side, but it's still like down the strip. So, try. All of those hotels was booked. So we still riding around, riding around, riding around. This time it's still like dawn outside. It's like, it's, my baby keep on moving the thing. It's still like dark outside, but you like day, a little bit of daylight coming through, but it's still dark. So by this time we is so sleepy. So y'all try, I booked us a hotel. Like when I tell y'all we was riding around. First of all, um, I think my sister had booked us a hotel, but it was like, oh no, checking is at four o'clock. We're like, what? Four o'clock? Child, it's four to five o'clock in the morning. We trying to go to sleep now so we can wake up and be lit. Okay? So, um, I, like a few hours passed by. Now it's like daylight. It's like six, seven o'clock in the morning. And we is so tired. So I booked us a hotel. Child, tell me why I booked the hotel. Like a whole. Well, that was the next day. That was the day. Was the Babe, day. are you serious? Yes, yeah, so for the first day we got down there, we couldn't find no room. Exactly. So it was. We so, only stayed down there one night. But we were trying to stay twice. We only stayed there one but night. We were trying to stay stay twice. If I'm telling you, the first day we got down there, you, we couldn't find no hotel. And y'all, you and mommy were scared to go to sleep. Me and Joe went to sleep in the car because y'all were scared because everybody walking by. No, see, that's the part that I'm gonna get to. And yes, then that's the later part. on that day, we went to the beach. Okay, you skipped the story. And then okay. we try to find a room, and then that's when you find a room. Cause we're gonna try to stay again, since we ain't get to enjoy it. Okay, oh, you're definitely right. Okay, y'all, so. I'm right. My sister, the hotel told us we were gonna check in at four o'clock, right? So then, um, hmm. She got and she went into this certain hotel and asked because these people oh, yeah, were okay. answering the phone. They weren't answering the phone. So she went in and there was like, oh, four o'clock check in at this time. Or you could, I think it was like, we could do an extra fee and we could come in at the earliest at this time. Like, what? So child, when I tell y'all, we were so sleepy and we were so tired. And we was looking for, we looked for so many hotels. Like yeah. every hotel was booked. So y'all, yeah. my sister was so tired. Child, she parked that car and we slept in the car. We slept in the car. Yeah, your girl was scared to sleep and my sister law was scared to go to sleep. Me and, so, my, yes. me and my brother law, we I, were in Cato. Baby and my brother in law was knocked out. Me and my sister were the last ones to go to sleep. Nobody walking by, nobody seeing. Everybody was walking out because we had parked in this hotel um, 
parking spot where we didn't need a voucher. We're no, we needed a voucher, so I was scared beach. to go to sleep. We parked in like a hotel parking spot that was close to the beach. So it's like everybody was walking by to go to the beach, but me, I was up. Everybody was in there knocked out. But child, I was like, oh, I hope we don't get towed. I Ooh, hope. Take the, take the car, we sleep. No, I was not going to sleep, but I was dozing off. I literally Good. dozed off, I want to say like three to four times. So I was up that whole night. I'm just looking at everybody just walking by. Oh my goodness. And we didn't have no tin windows. She didn't have no tin windows on the car. So people just walk by looking at us and I'm like, oh my goodness. So I was on my phone just scrolling like, oh, so I like I closed my eyes. I'm looking around, everybody here sleeping good. Cause they know I'm not going to go to sleep because your girl too scared to go to sleep. So Chad, Everybody, when I tell y'all, so many people was walking by the car, so many people walked by the car to go to the beach. Child, I was so tired. This is so ghetto. We were sleeping in a freaking car in Miami. Damn. I ain't saying you can't sleep in your car, <laughs> but baby, in Miami, we were sleeping in a car. It was so ghetto. So then, um, everybody finally woke up because I guess we was hungry. What we ended up eating? I don't know. We ended up going to the 7 Eleven So Like when I tell y'all, lines was wrapped around. We had ended up going to the 7 Eleven store and um, getting their hot wings and like freaking food from the um, gas station, y'all. It was and so we ghetto. The so then we had walked to the beach. Do we got beach picture? Oh, I'm gonna insert the beach picture that um we got. It's gonna be right here. I'm gonna put a beach picture or whatever because we still got it. We ended up getting some food from the gas station. Then we had went to the beach, enjoyed ourselves at the beach or whatnot, y'all. But we couldn't enjoy ourselves like we wanted to enjoy ourselves because it was we was tired. Like the water was nice, the sun was shining. It was like the perfect time to get in the beach. But we were so tired we couldn't even enjoy ourselves. Even though I did enjoy myself a little bit, I did take me a little cute pictures or whatnot. But y'all, we was so freaking tired. So then we ended up going back to the car and we ended up looking for a hotel. We was like, let's try to find out a hotel earlier because we probably didn't check out. Now, but I think we went on a Friday night, like a Friday night. We went on a Friday, Saturday night. So I don't know. I was like, Saturday and come back Sunday. Yeah, I was like, people probably done went home. Let's let's try to do a hotel. Child, all them hotels was still booked. When I say booked, booked, even the ones that was not booked, the, the little one percent that was not booked. Oh, baby, they was booked. But um, girl found tell one, me, though. I found a hotel. Tell me where I found a hotel at. Man, we stay up. Listen, I don't know about no. to Miami, man. She found a hotel, a whole nother hour down south. Who about to go back Miami? Baby. And have to turn around and come right back. Yes, man. I freaking found a hotel Dude. a whole hour and some away. The other way, the way we don't so need to go. So I gave my sister directions. I had booked the hotel and everything. Yeah, I don't know about Miami. I don't know what to say in Miami, child. It said Miami, and that's what I booked. I booked that hotel, and then once oh, shit, um. That's messed up. Once I booked the hotel, I gave my sister direct. She was like, girl, it's a whole hour away. What did you do? Why you do this? Blah, 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 blah. Like, she was going off. And I was like, that's why y'all don't tell me to book nothing. Y'all don't want to keep on getting at me because I wasn't looking at booking nothing. Okay? I'm tired. I'm halfway tired. You know, I don't function right when I'm tired. So, I don't book the hotel a whole hour and some away, y'all. So, y'all know when y'all book um through an app, through like, um what's the apps? Through like trivia, um booking. It's hard um, to get your money back. The hotel don't, yeah. The hotel don't give you your money back. You have to call the people or whatever. And she was like, girl, you need to call and get the money back. Call and get the money back. Cause the, the hotel was like, what, like 200 and something dollars? It was cheaper than what the rest of them were. Yeah, all those ones was like 500 and 300 and two something. But this one was, at this point, I mean, it wasn't cheaper than the than um all of the hotels. But it was cheaper than um some of the hotels, majority of the hotels. But at that time, we was tired. We didn't care. We just wanted to get in the bed, go sleep a few hours. We wanted to lay down comfortable. So I booked the hotel for 200 and something dollars. I think it was like almost 300 dollars. I don't know, but once we found out it was an hour and some away, cancel. Child, oh my goodness, I had cancel. to get on. And I think I booked it on my sister car. She was like, girl, you had a call to get my money back. I booked it on my sister car, y'all. Because I did not book it. I didn't have no booking site or no whatever I booked it on. I don't know what I booked it on, but I know it was her car. And she was like, you better call and get my money back. I'm not driving. We're not driving ways over there. It's pointless and blah, 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 blah. Anybody put the child. So I had called the people, tried to get the money back. First, I called the hotel because, remind y'all, your girl ain't hardly knew nothing about no, um, about no booking nothing, child. Honey. So I was like, oh, you have to call, you have to call the, um, the, the app, the whatever app it was. I don't know, but that's what I did. And so I did that, and then my sister got on the phone, and child, we were so tired. When I tell y'all, we we in, we um rolled around, and we ate, what did we eat? We ate something else. I don't know where else we stopped, but we was hungry, we was tired, we needed to relax. 
So um, we roll around. We really roll around the same roads to decide what hotel we can get. Cause at this time it's nighttime now. After we like went to the beach and then you know tried to find more hotels. Try it this time. Yeah, and we was like, we're not that. coming out here for no one day. We're not coming out here for one day. We're going to find us a hotel and we're going to go to sleep. Chai, honey. This is so ghetto. We rode around. We we literally rode around the same spot like 10 or 15 times. And then it was like a detour. So we got to keep going through the same detour, y'all, because we're trying to find hotels. So anyways, it was like this. At this time, chai, honey. Like I said, I think it was like spring break. So at this time, baby, the longer we stayed, the more hotels was booked and nothing was available at all. It was this big, expensive, expensive, big, tall hotel. It had a U driveway a sitting on the hill. I don't know what it was, but it was very expensive. It was like 500 and some dollars. Um, at this time, um, me and my sister, we was just getting aggravated. We was tired. We was, me and my sister was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, baby. And then Davey and my brother-in-law, they just sitting back there not helping us decide. You feel me? Yeah. Like, they just sitting back there just yeah. uh, going along, just like, oh, we don't know. Ooh, that's expensive. Like, they just literally sitting back there saying that. Then so, at this time, me and my sister, that. we started. Never win. <laughs> at this time, me and my sister, we like, y'all, should we get this hotel? It's 500 and something dollars. I think it was like almost 600 and something dollars. When I tell y'all big, expensive hotel, y'all, I don't know. It was like, I don't know. I don't know where it was. But I know it was like a, a lake right here. It was like on the beach. But it was like a, ro a road away from the beach, and it was no, it was on the beach thing. The back of the hotel was facing the um the water like because the we water. had to keep going around where the, they had the boats and all that stuff. Anyways, child, this hotel was really big. I don't even know the name of it, but it was extremely big, and I believe it had purple lights like all over the building, and then had this big old U driveway, so you have to go up the hill, child. So my sister driving around, we just driving around. And we're like, are we gonna get this hotel? Cause at this point, nothing. And when I say nothing, probably only like one or two hotels at availability. Chai, oh my goodness, this was so ghetto, y'all. So the hotel was like five hundred and some dollars, or close to six hundred dollars. So we like, what? For like only a few hours, like toodles. Chai, no. So me and my sister, we literally started going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth. And then they sitting in the seat, just not saying nothing, just scrolling on their phones and just listening to us. They not even putting in their two cents or telling us what we should do. You know how you need that extra push to be like, yeah, go ahead and get it. Okay? No, Cause at this point, we didn't already put in, like David said it went $200 worth of gas, but I think it was $200 worth of gas, if not close to it. We had already put in all this gas, plus more when we got two freaking, um, uh, Miami and then on top of that we didn't pay for some food. We had a lot of gas station food But I believe we did go somewhere like a spot and eat some food. I don't know. I don't I don't know I don't know y'all because like I said it was a few years ago So, you know, we started getting mad at them in the back seat like we started going off on them because they not helping us make no decision or whatnot so then they're like, yeah, get the hotel, get the hotel. Once we started cussing them out and going off on them. So that yeah, get the hotel, get the hotel, get the hotel, so get the hotel. So while we went in there and when we went in there to book the hotel because we was right in there Alley. Uh, first of all, wait, I hadn't got in the driver's spot and I went up the hotel backwards. I went in the hotel thing backwards. Yeah, the wrong way. Like, you're supposed to go in this way and cars is coming this way and I'm just I'm like, oh my goodness. So I had to back down a big old hill, child. Or did you get in there and back down for me? I don't know. I think my sister, David, got down there and started backing it down for me, y'all. Child, we got in there and they didn't have no availability once we went in there. Nothing. Guess what we did? Wrong. We took our black behinds home. Oh. We literally went down there to sleep in the car, eat gas station food, jump in the water ride around, two, jump in, a, yeah, in the water for about two or three hours, and that go lane. home. Child, you told me somebody was hot and heated. I was like, this is the most ghetto trip. So on the way back home, Davey and my brother in law, they drove. Child was over there, knocked down. I didn't drive the whole trip. Chilling. So we went to Miami, the most ghetto trip ever. To take a dive in the water and To go take home. a dive in the water for two or three hours and sleep in the car. Ridiculous. And everybody looking at us. I hope anybody's no picture. Next time, <laughs> friend, y'all. Chai, and we slept in there with no freaking um with the car off because we had already we didn't want to burn the AC and burn up all the gas. Chai, please. Anyways, have y'all ever had a ghetto experience going to Miami? If so, let us know. know. Drop down below. <laughs> TV in the comments. Let's get it. Let's get it. Coming for more story time.